Okay, girlies, NFL week six was a wild one. You're probably going to hear a lot of people talking about it, so I'm here to help you stay up to date. Whether it's so that you don't have to stay awkwardly silent with your coworkers, or if you want to impress the out of your man, here are your talking points. The 72 Dolphins got to clink their glasses Sunday. There are no undefeated teams left this season. The 49ers took their first L in Cleveland as the Browns held San Francisco's offense that was averaging 33.4 points per game to just 17. I didn't believe, y'all believe now. The Niners kicker, third round draft pick, Jake Moody, missed what would have been the game winning 41 yard field goal. Regardless of whether we hit that or not, a lot of stuff from this game that we gotta improve on. More concerningly, they lost two of their greatest offensive assets, Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel, to injuries. We had to switch a couple guys around and weren't quite ready for that. The Eagles were upset by the Jets for their first loss this year in a game that saw Jalen Hurts throw three interceptions. It's an opportunity for us to grow. The Jets, who are now 3-3, three and three, seemed to be energized by the presence of Aaron Rodgers. He wasn't expected to even be walking at this point after his injury. He's adamant that he's going to return to play this season, and it's starting to look like a real possibility. Hey, get used to this! Joe Burrow seems to have miraculously recovered from the calf injury that's been nagging him as he had his mobility back in the Bengals' win over the Seahawks, bringing them to 500 heading into their bye. Never gonna apologize for a win. The Lions hype train continues gaining steam as Zaddy Dan Campbell took his boys on the road and beat the Buccaneers 20-6 and ascended to 5-1 on the season. Five,